Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, uh, daily chart of the ES, and what we're seeing now is we are poking above the upper band on the daily chart. Bulls had a big day yesterday, following through on the bounce off of middle band on Friday, and it was one of those things where we gapped up and we didn't look back. We have not had a gap and go, more like a gap and grind in some time. I mean, there was not, there wasn't even a, a morning dip yesterday to come in and buy. So it was incredibly difficult to get into the trade, and it was nearly impossible to get into the trade after it moved because we we chopped to higher, but you know, it, it was it, it was one of those days where it, it was a trend day. I mean, it's your very typical trend day, uh, a one percent day, and now we get into the situation where. Are we going to go on a band ride, or are we going to simply interact with the upper band and come back down? Um, I will be very interested to see how this market reacts when we move back to the 92.50 area. In each of the new highs that have been made in 2014, either on the day that high is made or on the subsequent day, we have fallen back below not only the high that was made, but the prior high as well. And, and so what, what, I, what I'm saying is, if 2014 form holds, we should break below 82 half today, okay? What we're not seeing is what we saw in 2013. In 2013, we would see very typically new high after new high after new high. It would simply build on itself. And every day we would be putting in a new high. What we have seen in 2014 is a new high and a move lower, a new high and a move lower, a new high. What's next? If form holds, we should, we should go ahead and get a little bit of a pullback here. If form doesn't hold, I think you're going to see a pretty sustainable short squeeze that will get us up into the 1920 to 1930 area. But... It is far too early to be planning for that. Um, so I am expecting a test of 92 half, and then we'll see who shows up. Do the bears push below 92 half? Can the bulls come in and defend the old high and push up to new highs again today, That which would likely start an upper band run? We'll have to see. Uh, I do fully expect to have some kind of an AM low today that's going to either uh, be a decent buying opportunity for new highs or is going to start to create a series of lower highs and you'll have the bears be able to, to, to push for the remainder of the day as, um, as form holds uh, with respect to how new highs have been dealt with in 2014. Okay, so everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.